Hi guys, I hope that you're all having a fabulous day. Welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to share my most used SLGs of 2022. I love doing these types of videos and I will be doing a handbag version of this a little bit later on, but I love doing these types of videos because I do think that I have a pretty healthy rotation when it comes to my SLGs and how I incorporate them. But of course there are some that I just end up gravitating towards over and over again. And I feel like with those, I'm always more inclined to buy something very similar. It might be in a different different texture and a different color or even from a different uh, fashion house just because they work out so well for my lifestyle. So these are going to be in no particular order, but I also wanted to share how I use them and uh, also how they've been wearing. Okay, so the first one that I wanted to share is the Chanel Ozip coin purse. This is in the gold gold hammered metallic leather with the gold hammered hardware. I don't know why I find that so difficult to say, uh, but if you would have told me five years ago that a Chanel metallic would be one of my most used SLGs and it would be wearing like a champ, I would have told you you were lying. Uh, but this thing has been absolutely amazing. You guys have heard me say this before that when it comes to the Chanel Ozip coin purse, it is one of my favorite types of wallets because I feel like it's so easy to incorporate with your smaller handbags and of course your larger ones, but the fact that you can also use this and carry all of the contents of your of your wallet, I think are I think it's amazing. Uh, but yeah, this has been wearing fabulously. And uh, I know that I've talked about this before, but Chanel uh, did revamp their metallics a few years ago. I was a little bit skeptical, but I am so happy to say Say that absolutely nothing, nothing has happened to this leather. It hasn't been wearing funky. It hasn't been creasing. It hasn't peeled. Nothing like that. And I have I have used this thing so incredibly much this year. It is insane. So it's um yeah like i said before it is wearing like a champ uh but i love using this uh mostly uh, of course as a wallet because you do have those three little compartments and again the fact that you can fit everything in a larger wallet in here of course you have to fold your cash a couple of times i think is amazing i do like the fact that they did incorporate a uh, a little back slip pocket on some of these uh versions because the first one the first uh, versions that they came out with um when it comes to this wallet they didn't have this but i do like this little addition uh, but I think that these are awesome. They're not too bulky either. There have been times that I have used this as a catch-all. Um, it's not necessarily my favorite way to use it, <laughs> but I definitely do prefer to use it as a wallet. But this thing is amazing, absolutely amazing, and the color... Oh, come on the color the color absolutely got me uh because it's it's shiny it's it's gold it's it's gaudy i mean it is right up my alley and next up is the prada zipped nylon pouch i think that this is the second year in a row that this has been one of my most used slgs this is in the color fuchsia and i mean the, the nylon is is absolutely incredible. I don't have any issues with wear and tear. I don't have any staining whatsoever. And it is so ridiculously spacious. I've said this before that I kind of like using this as a mini handbag, if you will, because if you want to go uber, uber compact, you can use this as a full-blown handbag, <laughs> like no problem. I love the fact that it comes with a detachable little wristlet so you can carry it like this and that way you're hands-free. I think this is wonderful as well. They do have an array of different colors. I know someone had mentioned that they no longer saw these on the website. Um, I looked on the website as well and I didn't see them but I called uh, Prada and they said that they still do carry these. Uh, but I, I love this little pouch, it's amazing. The color is amazing and like I said before, the nylon has been wearing fabulous no rips, no stains, no color transfer, nothing. It literally looks like the day that I got it. And I remember that when I first talked about this nylon pouch, uh, that many of you had said that you had purchased the nylon pouch years before. And some of you have even had these for like 10, 15 years. That is how durable this is. And I think that is absolutely amazing. So I am a huge, huge fan of the product. Prada nylon pouch, but yeah, I love using it as a grab and go and as a little mini handbag. This is fantastic, fantastic. And the nylon makes it so lightweight too. So it doesn't feel like you are carrying around a brick if you carry it like this, you know what I mean? So <laughs> I think that is awesome. Um, all right, another item is the Louis Vuitton 
Kirig the Kirigami set, but this is the smallest one. This one I used quite a bit this year as well as the medium one. Um, you guys know that the Kirigami obviously is made up of three pieces and then one larger than this one, but these two are the ones that I definitely gravitate the most, and out of these two, this is the one that I use the most this year. Uh, this little guy, it, like I'm obsessed with it. I think it is so, so cute. And when I first thought about the Kirigami, when I first saw it, I was like, mm, I don't think I'd really use it because I have other SLGs that pretty much do the same thing. But, um, I mean, I do have other SLGs that do the same thing, but I feel like, I don't know, all right? I feel like this one just adds a little bit of, a little bit more <laughs> pizzazz to how I want to use it. I love using this as a, uh, as a wallet. I've used it as a catch-all inside of my smaller handbags and uh, I have had zero issues with wear and tear, no issues with pop stitches, nothing like that. This definitely gives me like old school Louis Vuitton vibes as, as far as how it's been wearing and I think that's awesome. I think that's absolutely amazing. So this little guy is uh, is fantastic and no issues with the button either because I know that sometimes with those, these little buttons they end up wearing really funky or you start to see those really gnarly scratches and uh, so far so good. But I do like using this as a wallet as I mentioned before or as a catch-all, it's perfect. And with this one, I like using it as a cosmetics case. Uh, again, no issues with wear and tear. Oh, I'm holding it upside down. But uh, it is perfect to be able to fit your lipsticks in here. I can fit, I think I fit anywhere from like five to six lipsticks. Um, sometimes even like one of those slender lotions, no problem. So I love using it as a cosmetics case, but I will also sometimes use it as a uh, as a wallet just because it is so it is so massive, you know, and it's still not like super bulky. So I can get away with using this in like my medium handbags. No problem. So if you guys have been thinking about going for the Kirigami and you're thinking, okay, how can I use these items? Um, I highly recommend going for it just because again, I know that it does something similar that other SLGs do, but I really like the fact that it's just one open compartment and I feel like the possibilities are endless in how you can incorporate these. The larger one, the larger one sometimes is a little, I don't know, I think that would be my least used from the Kirigami set. Uh, all right, moving on to the Ophidia key pouch. I mean, <laughs> I think this is again the second year that I have been using this little key pouch. I'm not gonna feel, I mean, I'm not gonna go to town and talking about how amazing it is because I have talked about this quite a bit over the last year, year and a half. I've done a few videos on it, um, but it's, it's, it's incredible. Again, I feel like the possibilities are endless in how you can incorporate this. I like the size. It is a little bit bulky, so if you do have limited space in a very small handbag, uh, sometimes this might not be the, the way to go because it is so bulky, but due to its shape, I mean, you can fit so many items in here. Your key, your, your key fob, your keys, a lipstick, headache medicine, cash, uh, cards, I mean, you name it. I think that this is awesome. Like, I, I love this little pouch and the little key, uh, little keyring that it comes with, but it's, it's awesome. It's been wearing fabulously as well. Still no issues with wear and tear, no pop stitches, nothing like that. It is just incredible. And I felt like this year, I either went from one extreme or another. I either went for carrying everything in the kitchen sink or I went for going for very, very minimal items so I can do like the whole grab and go and not have to carry everything with me. And I feel like this is perfect for that. All right, moving on to another card case. This is the Saint Laurent. Now I've seen this in two with two different names, the zipped card holder, the fragments card holder. I think it really depends um, where you're purchasing it from, but this, let's just go with the zipped <laughs> card holder. Uh, and this is in the Fuchsia with the gold hardware. Uh, it does have the credit card slots on the back and then you have a zipped pocket up here. And I know that I got this later on in the year, I wanna say it was August if I'm not mistaken, maybe even uh, September. But now you guys heard me say that I love to, I love to rotate my SLGs and all that good stuff, but there are times when there are SLGs that I just, do not want to get out of. I will switch out everything else uh, or the majority of everything else, but then I will still keep carrying the same thing over and over again. This is one of those cases. Now, you know how I love the Saint Laurent pebbled leather. It is beyond durable. If you are in the market for a card holder that 
doesn't break the bank, has amazing colors, and is insanely durable, you cannot go wrong with a Saint Laurent Pebbled card holder, like at all. It is a little bit stiff in the beginning, not gonna lie, it's a little bit stiff, but I feel like because of that same initial stiffness, you don't have to worry that the card slots are gonna stretch out like really, really badly in a short amount of time or anything like that. You can double up your cards no problem. And even then, after you double them up, you don't have to worry that it's, go that it's going to be too stretched out. These, these card holders of the pebbled leather is amazing. I love this color. And with this one, I just didn't want to get out of it. I think I used it every single day straight for two months. And I know some of you might be thinking, dude, that's not a big deal. But it is for me, again, because I do like to switch out my SLG so often. But this is amazing. The color is amazing. The color combo with the hardware is amazing. And it has been wearing fabulously. This little pocket up here, it isn't like, like super, super tiny. It isn't super, super narrow. You do have to go for more slender items in here like other cards or cash or maybe some coins. But um, it is just, it is awesome. <laughs> it is absolutely amazing. So I highly, 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 highly recommend the Saint Laurent Fragments card holder or zip card holder. It is just awesome. And look at that, zero wear and tear for as much as I have put that card holder through. All right, moving on to this beauty. This is the Chanel Beauty CC pouch or the mini O case. I'm gonna bring it up as quickly as I can because I know that every time I bring up anything white up to the camera, the background gets really dark. But this is in the white caviar leather with the silver hardware. And uh, you guys know that I love using these as wallets. I mostly like using it as a wallet just because it is so insanely spacious. You have one little compartment uh, because that way you can end up fitting all of your wallet essentials in here, no problem, and then some. Sometimes I fit my house keys in here and my key fob but I love using it as a wallet. I also like using it as a catch-all. There have been times that I use it as a cosmetics case. I don't necessarily like going that route either just because depending on how many lip products I am carrying, this thing can get really bulky really, really fast and then the zipper gets really gnarly. So <laughs> I don't really like the way that it looks with a bunch of lumps and bumps whenever I do carry lipsticks in here but sometimes I'll do it. Uh, but these guys are incredible. Now I do have a few of these pouches in my collection, but the white one, the white caviar, this thing has been in constant rotation, like all year long, every single week, every single month, I just could not put this away. I was like a moth to the flame. And I think it's just because the white goes so well with any other SLGs that I am carrying or with any bag that I am using. I think it's awesome. And I'm happy to say that for, for as much as I have used this thing, there was a doubt in my mind that I thought, okay, white is known for yellowing. It doesn't have to be Chanel, just any type of fashion house, they are known, they are prone to yellowing, white, white right? There has been zero, zero, zero yellowing on this. There is no color transfer, nothing. And this is one of those types of SL SLGs that I do not baby, I do not put in a bubble. I am mindful about not putting this inside of a red interior handbag because I did learn my lesson many, many moons ago. But other than that, like nothing has happened to this. Do you know how happy that makes me? Nothing, no yellowing whatsoever, but the color is just like this bright, bright snow white. It is, it is awesome. So I love these little pouches. I know that the prices have gotten quite ridiculous on this over the years, um, as with many Chanel pieces, but uh, this is one that I feel like uh, the cost per wear is like in the pennies or it might even be in the, in the negative, not possible, but uh, just because I use it so incredibly much and I get so much um, joy out of using it as well. Uh, all right, moving on to Another wall. I feel like a lot of these are wallets. I should have just done a wallet collection video. But anywho, uh, this is the Gucci Ophidia playing card set. Remember, this is a lifestyle uh, piece in their lifestyle section for uh, playing cards. But yours truly uh, saw this and thought this would be fantastic to use as a wallet. And it has been amazing. Absolutely amazing as a wallet. I think that this is just 
this has honestly been one of the best purchases of all time for me. Uh, and I mean, if you don't want to go for the Chanel Ozip coin purse, and I know that there are other fashion houses that have other wallets that are very similar to this, but I think that these retail for what, 750 or 800? Crazy, right? Crazy. But if you don't want to go that route, if you want something very similar that doesn't break the bank, I think that this would be a fantastic way to go. I think that these now retail for, I could be wrong, I think the last time I saw it was 390, a huge difference between the two, right? And even other fashion houses, but it pretty much does the exact same thing. Uh, this only has one open compartment versus having three different compartments. Uh, this is not stained. This is the print <laughs> that it has on the interior, but it fits literally everything that you need in a full size wallet. I've used this as a catch all as well for my smaller handbags, no problem. It is just, absolutely amazing and this supreme canvas wears like a champ no staining no pop stitches i will have to say i do have some pilling on the gucci webbing here um just because i use it so incredibly much but besides that it's 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 still going strong it is still going strong i love this little thing and look at this let me just put these two side by side okay it's a little bit smaller in length. It's maybe a little bit thicker than the Chanel one, but come on, you cannot beat the price difference, right? And I believe that there are a few others uh, that are very similar to this as well. M maybe not necessarily in the lifestyle version, but in the wallet section, and it'll still be less than the Chanel one. But these little, these little types of wallets, I think are fantastic. Um, all right, now another wa another wallet. See what I mean? I should have done just a wallet, you know, video, uh, but that would be stupid long. Now, you guys heard me say that I like the smaller wallets that you can carry everything that you want to carry in a larger full-size wallet without having to, you know, give space to that or anything like that. But, but there are some times when I do want to use a full-size wallet. I don't know what it is about a full-size wallet. It just, it brings me so much joy. I, I honestly cannot put my finger, uh, my finger on it, especially because they take up so much space. But one of, uh, another one of my most used wallets is the Louis Vuitton Zippy wallet. I absolutely love this wallet. I mean, it is, it is awesome. It has such a smooth zipper. I mean, look at, look at this. It has room for everything in your wallet and my wallet and then some. I mean, I love how spacious it is. I'm able to fit my phone in here uh, without a case. Uh, so if you wanted to, you can use this as a little clutch as well. A great grab and go. I mean, it is just, look at that. It is just so insanely spacious. Talk about the credit card slots. Talk about the compartments, the little slip pockets. It's just, look at that. You don't have to go digging through your wallet. Okay, I gotta find that one card or everything is smashed together. It is so ridiculously organized in something like this. This is amazing, <laughs> absolutely amazing. I have a Chanel zipped wallet uh, that's the same size, but it's the uh, black caviar with the gold hardware. And I do use it, but there's something about this one in particular that I'm always like just drawn. I'm always drawn to it. Maybe it's because this is a wallet that I always saw out in the wild and I always appreciated, but I was like, I don't know, I don't know. It's a little too pricey. It's a little too out of my price range. Uh, but now that I have it, it's kind of like, I don't know. It's like kind of like a surreal, Sometimes I feel like I need to pinch myself because I can't believe that I actually have it in my collection. You know what I mean? Like, it's not, I don't know. Maybe that sounds silly, but it, it does bring me a lot of joy when I use it and when it's a full-size wallet. I don't know. It just, I feel like nowadays everything is always so small. Small wallets, small handbags. And trust me, I know that I do that as well. You know, I, I have quite a few small wallets and quite a few small handbags. But the bigger bags, the bigger wallets, there's just, there's something iconic. There is something classic 
about that, right? Am I, am I crazy? I don't know. Let me know if you guys feel the same way. Now, the last SLGs that I want to share with you, I'm not going to spend too much time on only because I have done many videos on them throughout the years because I have been on YouTube for what seems like a millennia. Uh, but these are what I would consider to be staples. And in one way or another, they are always incorporated into my handbag, uh, especially one in particular. But I feel like these are, I feel like the other ones that I just shared with you are the ones that I would go for if I wanted to add a little bit more color, if I wanted to carry something different or what have you. But these, again, are what I would consider to be staples. So they they belong in this video because they are definitely some of my most used SLGs of 2022 and some of my most used SLGs of all time. Uh, the first one is the Louis Vuitton mini pochette. Um, not necessarily in Damien Ben, but uh, between the Damien Ben and the monogram, they're always in, in my handbag in one way or another. Again, if you wanted to use them as a wallet, as a catch-all, what have you, these things are absolutely amazing. Uh, and I know that the price point has gone through the roof over the last couple of years, but they are just, they are by far some of the best SLGs on the market, in my opinion. Uh, all right, the next one would be the key pouch. <laughs> now the key pouch, again, I feel like you, the possibilities are endless and how you can incorporate it as a wallet, as a catch-all for your keys, what have you. Absolutely amazing. So I always end up carrying that. Another item is the Louis Vuitton round coin purse. Now this is an item that I won't necessarily carry with me every single day, especially if, uh, if I feel like the handbag is getting too crowded and I wanna give space to something else, I'll take this guy out. But still, I feel like this is almost always in my handbag, but it's the first thing to go if I need space. Um, and then we have the uh, Louis Vuitton and the Chanel six frame key holders. You guys know these are my end all be all when it comes to when it comes to SLGs, uh, just because it, it ensures that the interior of my handbag looks fabulous for years to come without those deadly keys. And I know I say that all the time. I probably sound like a broken record, but they are absolutely amazing. So I always carry these as well. Although I will have to say, uh, again, kind of like the round coin purse, if I do want to go for a very, very, very slender handbag and I have limited space, I'll take off the keys, I'll take off the key fob and I'll have those just kind of, um, you know, just uh, loose in that bag. Uh, and the last item, this is the item that I was talking about it doesn't matter how small my bag is. Uh, it doesn't matter how big it is, obviously. Uh, this is with me no matter what. This is the Louis Vuitton photo album slash uh, credit card holder. I do use it as a photo album and I have pictures of Edward in here. Uh, now I know that I have pretty much the same pictures on my phone, right? It'd be easy for me to like bust out my phone and I don't have to carry this. But for me, ha carrying his, his actual pictures in a photo album, I cannot, I, I can't put it into words. I don't know what it does, but I have to carry this no matter what. This is with me every single day, you know? So that's how crazy I am about this photo album. And uh, there's a total of 13 pictures in here. Obviously, I'm not going to fan them out, but it's just, it's, it's an awesome awesome SLG and I'm so happy that I found something like this um, and that no matter what, again, has to be in all of my handbags. But anywho, we have made it to the end of this video. I know it was a little bit longer, uh, but again, I just wanted to share a little bit of information on these pieces, how I incorporate them, how they've been wearing, especially if you're looking to add any of these to your collection, uh, because I do seriously have an obsession when it comes to SLGs. I like different textures, different colors, and being able to, nothing makes me happier then when I find a small leather good that I can incorporate into my lifestyle various ways. You know, I know there are some that I just use that, you know, the, the way that they're intended, but I love finding new ways of being able to incorporate those SLGs because I feel like then that brings the cost per wear down even lower, you know, but um, yeah. Anywho, I'm rambling at this point. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure and give it a thumbs up. And I would love to know what have been some of your most used SLGs for 2022. Share with us in the comment section down below. But I love you guys. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure and give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already and you would like to, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. To, <laughs> let's try that again. To my YouTube channel. And I'll see you guys in my next one. And as always, make it a fabulous day or not. The choice is yours. Have a great day.